My name is Alexa Fisher, as you all have probably figured out by now. And um, I, I love speaking, and it's just something that's been inside of me. But I also realized that, I'll give you a little bit of my background. I have a performance background. I'm a professional actress in LA. I'm still working as a professional actress. But I had a very pivotal, pivotal moment that happened to me. I was shooting an episode of Bones, and I'm very regularly on episodic television and shooting commercials and film, whatever, and I'm doing this, and I've worked very hard to get to that point. And as I was laying on this cold floor, 16 hours into shooting with fake blood coming out of my mouth after I had been killed or almost killed, as I am laying there, I said to myself, I think I could be doing more with my life. <laughs> I don't think this is what I had in mind when I put all those efforts into my training and my schooling and my auditions. And, and I said, it's not that I don't love the acting. I love people. I love characteristics. I love communication. But there's got to be something that I can do with the techniques that I have learned and empower other people. Because here's a tricky thing about living in LA. I look at so many people in LA and they're reading the People magazine and they're looking at Star and they're looking out for movie stars on the street and celebrities. And somehow in that energy exchange, they're looking at those people as if they're like these special, you know, golden people and feeling bad about themselves and judging themselves. This is the cycle that I saw happening. And I said, what is going on here? What if everyday people felt like they were the stars? they walked into a room being like, I am a superstar. And you probably know, Sheila, working with a lot of superstars, you also work with a lot of celebrities, there is this special like, mm, I got it all going on, because they have been trained, they have exercised that, that right to sort of let their light shine, and everybody responds accordingly. But I've had the pleasure of meeting people who shine brilliantly because they act like they're superstars, and not in that pompous way, but they just shine. They just get out of their way, they release their fear, and they just let their unique personality rip, and it's fantastic to be around them. And it doesn't matter what they look like. They can be any, they can look anything. They can be any race, any sex, any height, short, fat, doesn't matter. They are just so authentically in their own body, and it's fabulous. But my opinion is that people aren't necessarily just born that way. There is a methodology to everything. But what I have found is that the, the fear, fear is really what stops us. And that's why I wanted to do, I'm, I'm actually doing a three-part series in Smarty. And when I spoke with Amy about my work, there are so many techniques. that I, I have a whole video series that I work through uh, your mind, your voice, and your body. These are the foundations for great public speaking. There's one-on-one -on -one sessions that's really about polishing and observing and seeing where someone is and really so you can take them to the next level. But every time I work with a client, I have to start with, how do you feel about public speaking? Do you have any fear? Because all of the technique in the world will be fine, but it won't work if the moment you get up there for that opportunity, you are stopped by fear. Fear that started somewhere a long time ago. So this is what tonight is really about. Uh, there's a technique that I'm going to introduce so that very quickly you can identify where maybe you picked up a fear and then release it, which is kind of cool. <laughs>